It was an exciting night here at the Quaker State 400 as Martin Truex Jr. took the title. He swept the track tonight and it came down to the final two laps as a caution was thrown, but he was not surprised as the way the race was going the whole night. Welcome guys, it's Taco Tuesday here at Worthen Arena and the first 500 students received a free taco in a Fritos bowl, which we call walking tacos. Joel did not know the concept earlier, but this is how it goes. <laughs> Fritos, taco meat, cheese, lettuce, salsa, or whatever you want in it, but students got it for free tonight, so I hope they all enjoyed it. Joel? Yeah guys, Balsa is on a five game win streak, but when I spoke to head coach Brady Sally earlier, he told me he could care less about it. There's a saying on the program, 1-0 today. That means win the day, either that's at practice or in a game, and then they'll worry about tomorrow when tomorrow comes. Brady wants the team to be focused with game by game because once they become unfocused, that's when the win streak will go away. Joel? Let's go to Sam for a little bit more on that. Yeah, when I spoke with Whitford earlier this week, he told me that defensively their numbers are not where they need to be, and he said they need to be better at guarding the ball, and that's pretty much crystal clear to him. He said they're very strong on offense, so there's no problems there, but he also mentioned that for them to have a legitimate chance and to hang a banner and win conference, they have to continue to get better on defense. Joel? Sam Matlin has Ball State's head coach, James Whitford. So the game was a little bit back and forth there. Started off strong, kind of towards the middle, went a little close, and then you guys kind of took it away towards the end. What would you say made the team pick up that tempo? So you told me earlier that players practice how they play. So how do you think they did tonight with that aspect? Now senior Garrett Wisman had an amazing day on the mound, allowing only one hit. But the true game changer was when Ryan Peltier hit a home run early on in the first inning right here to allow Shaman Julien to go up 1-0. running a basketball camp for grades K through 8 could take a village. That's exactly what Chris Wright has here at Trotward High School for his basketball camp this year. He has DJs, local police officers, local coaches, everyone in the community helping out. He says the main reason they come is because they all have the same mission. The Reds can knock it out of their funk as they fall 2-1 to one in the series against the Diamondbacks. Welcome back, I'm Samantha Matlin. Top of the first inning, Jake Lamb up to bat for the Diamondbacks and sends one for a three-run home run. The Diamondbacks go up 3-0, to zero, but that does not mean anything for the Reds because Suarez answers with the home run all for himself out to left field. This makes the Reds go down 3-1. to one. It's the bottom of the eighth, and the only offense for the Reds still is Suarez, as he's up once again and sends another solo home run to right field. But Lamb finishes the game off just the way he started it. Another three-run home run goes under his belt as the Diamondbacks come out with a win. Yeah, Joel, as you mentioned with those games on the road, they were gone for 10 or so days, and three of those days they couldn't even practice two to practice accommodations, whether it be traveling to and from the hotel and whatnot. So now they'll be back in the state of Indiana, whether that be home or other schools around the area, for about two weeks to give those bodies their extra rest, and Coach Whitford is even giving them tomorrow the day off. Joel? Yeah, that's an interesting point that Sam makes there, too, just in terms of the lost days when you have to travel so much. Get back to that in a second. Here is The Bailey was jam-packed earlier tonight as fans came in in droves. Over 32,000 fans came out to support FC Cincinnati as they played Chicago Fire. But head coach Alan Koch is not surprised by their attendance. 